beautiful excellent so let's make sure we're fully good there we're doing a live unboxing for you and let's go give it a couple of minutes and we're gonna warm up with this live little special so welcome to the show in this one i'm doing a live unboxing of a number of lidded products middle of the aisle fans popcorn makers streamers everything sponsored by trusted creators so thank you and let's get on with the show Just waiting on that for us, and we should be good. Be a couple of seconds, just waiting for that time zone there, and beautiful. Bam. Hello and welcome to today's show. We have got a live unboxing of a number of products that I've picked up. It's a Friday, so happy Friday and let's get on with this show. What shall we look at first? Well, there's a number of things we've got here. Let's have a look at... I'll do the easy small one first. Let's go along the lines of the little mini, mini fan, basically. So let's go there. Q and A. Okay, let's go. Let's make sure we're fully good over here. Perfect. Okay. Just lining up everything here. Okay. So this is one of the portable little fans. I wanted to be able to show you this so you've got an idea of how good it is and if it's worth you picking it up. That's the box there. As you can see, it's like a nice little system here. Let me show you a, a better view here. It's a portable fan, keeps you cool while on the go. You've got all the details on the box. The main thing we want to look at is we want to get inside it. So let's get my trusty Swiss Army knife and let's get into this and see if with this current heat that we're having, how good is this going to be so let's get into the box shall we there we go we're in there and then we're going to check out what we got okay so it should be nice i've picked the the white color option and it's a bit there we go okay yeah so nice uh, plastic system here and it looks like it's got that special has it got tape somewhere no okay Okay, so we've got a mains charger, but it is Type-C, so we can... Okay, why is that? Ah, okay, it's actually sealed in there. That's interesting, and it's got a security tag as well. So it seems like people are walking off with these. So let's go and get... Let's get that out. Carefully, the knife is nice and sharp. Okay, so that has to be the worst unboxing in the planet. Because that is like killing the planet. Look at all that plastic. And it smells very plasticky as well. Okay. So can I get it out now? There we go. It's coming. There we go. Okay, so actually it's a foldable option. So let me get rid of that plastic. So it is already... Oh no, look at that. That's a bit fancy, isn't it? It's not too bad. It's like them old battery powered ones. Oh, it's come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad. That's actually gone. Can you hear it? Okay, now, why is this good? Because it's small, it's quite powerful. Let me put it on seat three. One, two, three. Okay, wow. That's quite. F actually, you know what? That would be a good desk fan. Can I put that on the desk? So how about for us to place it 
Like, well, you can't see that, can you? If I was to place it here. Oh, yeah, okay. So you can actually use it like a desk fan there. Ah, look at that. Ah, it's quite powerful. And it's battery powered. If you've got a small car or if you're traveling, it'd be great because you could put it on the dash. And it's actually USB powered as well. So if you don't have AC and you've got an older car or your camper running or something, that's quite actually, you know what? That's quite nice. And the best thing about it is if you're uh, one of the makeup fiends, you can actually use it to dry your hands. You know, if you do makeup, uh, nail polish, you can use it to like, you know, the fancy, fancy ones out there. Okay, that, no, that's not too bad. I do like that. Let me give you an idea. Okay, so if I give you, see that? It's under, that was the fastest setting and it was quite loud, but you can lower the setting on it. And then it will be a bit better. There, okay, that's more casual. So there's two buttons on and off and it's got a hinge system on there so you can actually pack it down quite small. Oh wait, what's this then? Ah, okay. I entirely missed that. So now it's a full on Dyson equivalent thing, isn't it? Like a mini. So you actually got a desk option now. So how does that look there? And then wait, you can actually do that and tilt it. So you can use that. I do like that. That's quite fancy. Definitely a good buy for the price anyway. It's a decent decent option. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So now I'm sorted. If I'm in an office, anywhere I am, hands-free basically. And it comes with its own little charging option, Type-C. So if you've got a Type-C USB cable, you can still charge it there. Perfect. Let's get rid of some of this plastic and we look at the next one. I've got a couple of these. Oh, hello. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Just checking that out there. Okay. So that's option number one. Let's make sure we're fine over here. How big is it? How many inches or centimeters? It doesn't really say, but I'd say it's like, what, maybe three inches across? I do like that though. Good option. Okay, so that's option number one. A nice little fan for you. Okay, so what we'll do, I'll put that one away and then we'll look at the next one. Okay, so it goes back in the box. It says, I don't like the box, it's very yeah, non friendly. Okay, so let's see if we can get that back in. So it's a certain way. Okay, go slow. You can get it in different colors by the way, so it doesn't have to be a white one. You can get a there's a few pink colors and things in there, so let me get rid of that. Okay, so that was option number one. Let me make some space to put that somewhere now. We've got a bigger one coming next, so I need more space. Okay, you ready for the bigger one? This is gonna be the big option now, so we're gonna get the big guns out. Where is it? How, how big is that actually? Okay. So we're going to look at that possibly or that. Okay. So now the next one. Hey, hey. That's bigger. So let me zoom you out a bit. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, so we've got a bigger desk fan here now. This is a three speed setting. We're gonna get inside it and see what it's all about. Is it worth you picking this up? Well, you'll find out by the end of this little segment here. And I opened the wrong one. I should open the, the knife. Let's get that knife out. Look at there. And let's go. Okay, there we go. So how are we? Okay, this is a bit better. The other one was a plastic. This is actually a bag. Let's get it out. Yep, 
you may have seen there's loads of uh, coolers out there where you put water into them and they make the the air cool down this is more of like a conventional conventional fan oh wow okay so there that's how it looks it's got three speed settings i'm gonna have to plug it in so we can hear it and see how powerful it is okay plug it in like that because okay so on the back of it we've got zero one two three and it's corded so it's actually got a cord in there so the thing to think about here is it looks quite neat it's like very trendy now we'll see how much power it's got it's tiltable so you can adjust it okay so let me put it on and see how much uh, force it's got just return that on i got a number behind here somewhere okay so it's on zero one oh wow that's a very natural air uh, it feels like oh, it's because it's on low setting but two three that's the fastest setting i've had to turn the volume down on the mic so you don't hear all this noise so okay what do we think of that that's actually it's quite lightweight so it's not too heavy either so you can see there that's setting one two three it's very nice it's no funny noises no whining noises so zero back to one it's a great desk fan so if you put it just here well out of shot it's gonna be enough air there to cover me and it's got the standard feel of it it's like a big spotlight so overall very pleasing straight to the point nothing fancy about it it's a fan it's got three settings and it's designed to go on your desk and there's the the base of it you can see it's got silicon feet and this looks interesting here those look like ah okay wait a minute so that means we could actually mount it on the wall with those mounting points let me show you this so you can actually mount it on the wall there and then have it as like a, a wall mounted system so if you're able to screw onto your wall, if you're not in a rented property, you can actually have it screwed on so you can actually position it down. So maybe in the kitchen, if you're looking to do some cooking and you want to get the smoke out of the way, that might work very well. There's not too many components in there that I can see and it seems like a nice little option. The only thing would be is you need to be able to reach it to put it on. So there it's on there. One, two, three. It's powerful nice option they're not too expensive either so it's a good little uh, budget option for you there beautiful setup and you can get it in different colors by the way okay that's another one down another one down okay let me put that back in the box now I always struggle with these. There. If you have any questions at any point just drop them in chat i am here live so i can help you answer questions live ok 
Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I don't think you'll be familiar with this. This is a nice little system that that light sort out there. Okay, so these are actually steam cleaners, hand held steam cleaners. You may not be familiar with them. They're very good for getting rid of creases. So let's go and add that in for you. Hand held steam. Well, it's not a cleaner, it's more of a brush, isn't it? Stream brush. There we go. More like a steam clothes brush, hand held steam. okay so this is getting rid of uh, creases in your shirt and your clothing so let's have a look at this So next up here I've got the steam brush. This helps you for clothing, getting rid of creases. It's a great little option. So we'll get straight into this and see what it's all about. Just like this. I will cut that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, there we go. So now let's see how it comes out. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of fancy packaging here. Check it out. Okay, so we've got a massive document there. We've got an oh, here we go. The brushes here. Let's get rid of the packaging. I'll plug that in. Just get rid of this. Okay. So you get a nice long cable, which is very handy because if you're doing clothes, you're not going to be near the socket possibly. So you got a nice long cable which you can plug in which I'll do right now okay so remember this is a steamer so you need to put water into it to allow it to fully function so let's get rid of this packaging here you can see we've got some okay all nice pattern on there which you probably can't see and this is how it feels looks very trendy it's a nice trigger system and we're going to need to put some fluid in here, which I do have, so not to worry. Uh, how much fluid does it take? Does that come off? Oh, okay. Oh, that's quite good. Okay, I'll show you that. So let me put you down here. So on both sides, you have a little clip, which allows you to basically remove that water section. So you can take that to a tap and a sink and fill it up with water. But we're going to try and fill it with this bottle here, which will be interesting. Let me just fill that up for you. Okay, you, ha ha you reckon I'll miss the nice and easy oh, look at that like a pro like a pro not in a drop spillage that's how I roll mate no messing about there's a max mark I won't go I won't go to max max is uh, outside our dog is uh, conveniently also called max okay, here we go close that so I have put in the water there. There is nice marks here telling you how far you can go up for the fluids. And I'm under that, which is excellent. So next up, we're going to plug it in and see how long it takes to steam up. So 
plug it there let me turn my switch on okay here we go so we can see here on the back on, on. so it's blinking now okay let that do his thing so it's blinking right now so you can see how long that takes to warm up we've got a brush attachment here which we can open up I'm not a big fan of brush. Oh, okay. The light stopped flashing. Oh, okay, here we go. Turn it on. Okay, I think it's the first time someone hit it. There we go. Can you hear that? Sound like Darth Vader? Hey, hey. Okay, here we go. We are, we are on to a winner. You can see it better in this light. Okay. So let me get a light for you to show you what. Okay, here we go. So you'll see the stream now. Look at that. You want some steam? Steam out your jacket. There we go. Now it's popping in it like a steam engine. Okay, let's put that down. Okay, it feels nice. And again, I'm not going to blind myself, but that gives you an idea of the steaming power there. Let me just quickly turn the light off. And it has got this attachment here, which allows you to conveniently clip it over. Which way? There we go. Okay, make sure I did that right. Is that top and bottom to it? Yeah, the top is smaller and the, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect. So now it's got the attachment. There we go. So steaming a shirt would be excellent. Getting rid of those creases. If you're doing any type of sewing, this would be excellent help you and you can see there there's enough fluid in there as well so we've got nothing to worry about so overall a nice option there for you and it's got a simple start stop system nothing too complicated about it and yeah i do like that nice option Okay, that seems fine. Just making sure we're good over here. Yep, okay. So, we're gonna let that cool down now. And then we'll put that back into its uh, box. But that was a nice little look at that for you, so you know what you're getting there. And the best thing about it is we can easily just remove that and then dispose of the water. Oh, the water's actually cold. I thought it'd steam up the old water, but it hasn't. Okay, perfect. itself down because it seems to be spluttering okay okay that's perfect let me 
just leave that on the side there to cool down and what's up next oh next we've got a bit of a party for you people What is a thermal flask like? So the insulated thermal flask. So this one is going to be a great option. If you're thinking about getting yourself a flask. So actually it's all aluminium and double insulated. So it's actually great for just checking that. Because we put boiling water in here a few hours ago. Just to see how hot it actually is. Oh, okay, yeah, it's still hot. It's been about two hours. We've had uh, boiling water, and you can see the steam coming off of it. But let me give you a bit of light so you can see. Maybe, possibly. Let's check that. See that? So it's still boiling. Well, not boiling, but it's still hot because obviously it's steaming. So it's got a good overall option there to keep your hots hot and your coals cold. It's got a nice rubber seal here. Uh, I like the handle on there as well. And it comes in, in a few options, so you can actually get it in uh, different color varieties. I've got like a mahogany wooden one and a light blue one as well. So here is the bottle. Nice solid construction double wall and a stainless steel one is the one I went for. So overall, it's a good size as well. 500 milliliters of fluids, so it'll key, well, 480 depending on how much you fill it up. So definitely a good purchase if you're thinking about getting a solid uh, water bottle insulated flask. Bam. Okay, so that's that. Next up, we got a fun one. You ready for the fun one? Oops. Where's the fun one? Oh no, okay. I'm gonna have to get it. Oh, we'll do that, we'll do the fun one last. Let me do this one. Let me just uh, get uh, Jeff to set me up. Bozo. He This one is going to be our luggage system. Let's get that quickly up there for you. There. Okay. I need to open this in a way that's going to be nice and easy to get out. That seems like the best way. Okay. So if you're going on holiday, you know how much of a nightmare luggage can be. So these are luggage scales, which actually allow you to easily weigh your own luggage. I'm going to quickly get it out of its packaging here, so we can have a look at it. And this plastic can be very hard. Let's get that out. Oh, okay, it's a nice chrome, chrome option. And the best thing about this one is, you actually, let me show you the front. So you hold it as you would. And you can actually lift up so let me get this uh, little rubber here off and show you how that would work so this will strap onto your luggage handle and you're basically pulling to see how much the scales will read on the display so is there upper and lower limit we're going to say max is 50 k's kg kilograms is the maximum capacity on this but that is a good option if you're thinking about luggage scales there's a size comparison and let's have a look here so you can see here it's a nice system to make it easy to hold as well, so it's not going to hurt your hand. And it's got a nice handle there. So that's a quick system there for you. Okay. I'm going to have to test this out now. Let's go. Okay. 
Let me get the fun option for you. You ready for the fun option? I'm gonna test this out as well, so we're gonna have a look, a proper look at that. Okay, let me get the fun option. might take a few minutes to get up but we're gonna get it up okay so what have we got here I have opened it I have pre-tested it just to make sure it's gonna be as good as I think it is okay so what we got here is a nice option for you this is gonna be a popcorn maker popcorn so you're gonna actually see a live demonstration of this so if you like your popcorn you want to hang about what do we get we get a little cup in there and we get the actual unit and it actually it's hot air is how it works let me get rid of that now okay there is the upper section and i'm gonna either get popcorn everywhere or we'll make it i'll give you a live example of how long it takes um so okay, let's plug it in and that's the unit itself so there's nothing too complex about it it's a simple on and off switch on it and it just does what it needs to do so let's plug it in and see how well it does so we're gonna whack it on okay so it's gonna throw out popcorn from this side here let's put the lid on and you should see a top-down view of me doing this here okay so that's how much popcorn we need to put in there and let me quickly get the popcorn there we got a bowl hopefully we'll catch it all or we'll just go everywhere and um, so that's the measurement we need to put in okay so let's go well i want to go less than more so let me give you an idea of how much it's probably about 60 grams is what it looks like there that's what we're going to put in and we're going to turn it well i'll put it in first then we turn it on so i'm going to put that in and then what I'm going to do is put this lid on top so we don't end up getting popcorn everywhere. So now that is enclosed. Can you see the top of that? You'll see it actually pop live. Let me turn it on. You might get a noise. Oh. Hey. Come on. Popcorn. How long? About two minutes, maybe. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Damn, son. Calm yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was loud, but you've got a full bowl of fresh popped popcorn there. And that's not too shabby. Let it cool down a bit because it's gonna be too hot. And we can use the upper section for extra toppings. So if you want to use the scoop there, you can actually put butter in there and use that as well. 
So there's a few extra little bits there. And the best thing is malted chocolate. Malt chocolate or get sugar and malt sugar separately with a bit of butter. Amazing. But yeah, you can make your own custom. Look at that beauty there. Nice bowl of popcorn. Look at that. All nice fresh popcorn. Definitely a great option. Okay. And should we do another one of those? I want to see if another one can be. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I put. It's got popcorn everywhere though. Okay. So the popcorn machine has worked its magic and given us some nice popcorn there. Uh, Bam, hello Bam, thanks for joining, how are you doing? What's the question? Do you play any games? You can put in butter in the thing you use to put the point in and then it's on the hot air will melt it. Uh, oh wicked, thank you. But then how do you clean the inside then? Well, if you do it that way, we, the inside of that's going to uh, get all buttery, isn't it? Is there a way of... Yeah, cleaning wise, that would be a bit of an issue because this looks like it's all contained. Doesn't you have all residue in there? Interesting. Okay, but yeah, that was a quick look at the popcorn maker. So hopefully that gives you an idea. It gets nice and hot, warm. You can feel it. But yeah, let's do a taste test. Oh, oh, mate. Holy, mate. Not too bad, not too shabby. Oh, 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 ho, oh. okay, so you mean like that? So actually put butter in there and leave butter in there so you can just take that off and just, ah, okay. That's quite clever, isn't it? Okay, that, that's interesting. That makes more sense. That means, does that get, yeah, it gets quite hot. Nice, nice, nice. Because so that was a quick session there and have I got anything else? Let me switch that off 